Hello and welcome to another episode of Retro Lunch Break, the podcast. I am your host and moderator for this episode. I am Rick the Rat, quite possibly the only rat that's got cat class and has got cat style. Joining me always is my co-host, Nick. And yes, that is short for Nickel. He has an older sister named uh, Dime and a younger sister named Penny. Mm -hmm. And joining us on this very (laughs) special episode... My is a very special is, uh, <laughs> is a very special guest Eddie Spaghetti the most delicious dish on the menu Oh yeah <laughs> Oh yeah So today's episode is Final Fantasy 7 and now to give What's everybody that what no, is Final Fantasy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> uh, to give everybody a little background, uh, so recently uh, uh, Square Enix released the uh, latest trailer for the Final Fantasy 7 remake and Eddie came up to me and said you know, I've never played it, and uh, and I was like, he, he said, uh, should I play the remake or should I play the original? And I was blown away by that that fact, yeah. and I was like, wow, what a unique position to be in, having never played the original Did you live Final in a Fantasy. Cave? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a unique position. <laughs> I, well, I think it is because it's a uh, it's it's a it's a game that's near and dear to my heart. Okay. And, and since you you've never played either one and you know nothing about the story, it's like it's like wow, it's like it's like um, if, if if you tell somebody, oh, here's my favorite book. It's a book that everybody knows, and you found out, you know, your friends oh, never read it before. Reads? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a great, question? great yeah. question. Um, uh, well, uh, it's just the most probably considered one of the most iconic RPGs yes. of all time. And you never played it. And was, I missed it. It was Jeez. pretty. It was pretty impressive. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So going off of that, I think our first topic should be our roads to 1997, which was when the game was first released. It was a long, hard road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, Nick, why don't you go ahead and, and start us off with your road to 1997? Okay, well, I'm not going to go all the way back. Yeah. To the beginning of my gaming because that would take way too long. Yes, yes. But leading like, up general. leading up to ninety seven, um I had played a lot of Super Nintendo. I was playing a lot of Super Nintendo at the time, a lot of platformers, um, action games, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Super Punch those. Out. What? Yeah, oh, we'll get yeah. into that. That's yeah, a different yeah. topic. Wow, there's another one. Yeah. Like Super Punch Out, uh, fighting games just platformers like that and then right around the time the playstation came out i had a a couple friends who had purchased playstations so i would go over to their house to play games i played resident evil crash bandicoot rayman battle arena toshinden i always want to say ballerina toshinden because battle arena is such a hard thing to say um discworld one of my favorite playstation games which is a point and click adventure and at that time when it came out Nintendo had announced the Ultra 64, so I held off on that. I had gone to a Blockbuster video, played a demo of Mario about six months before that system came out, and ran to EB the next day and threw all my money at the the person behind the counter, and I was like, hey, game monger, give me this (laughs) when it comes out, so I pre-ordered that, and so I spent a lot of my time around that time playing like Mario 64, Mario Kart, Star Fox, GoldenEye... I played Fallout on the Mac around that time. There's an RPG. So, oh, wow. And, yeah, That's and, cool. Fallout yeah. on the Mac. Yeah. yeah. So okay. um, some of the RPGs that I had that influenced me getting into up to Final Fantasy VII, I think the first one I ever played was Dragon Warrior on the NES. Yes. Um, and then I didn't really play another RPG until the Super Nintendo with games like Earthbound, Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, and Final Fantasy III. Yes, it is Final Fantasy III. Three America. Um, the, when I was a kid, it was Final Fantasy III. We had no idea that three was six. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I yeah. know we'll get into that oh, later. Wow, I'm just okay, saying. Yeah. So I had played it's a confusing that. Point, yeah. So yeah. So leading up to it, I was aware of Final Fantasy VII, but yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't buy it because my friend got it, and I played it at his house first. Eventually, I went and bought a PlayStation for that and Symphony of the Night. More so, Symphony of the Night. And wow, then, Symphony of the Night. You got to play that. On the PlayStation? Yeah. Wow, yeah. cool. Yeah, I own Symphony on the wow. PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the way... Because I had played so many games on the PlayStation before at friends' houses. I was like, oh, I really want the Symphony of the Night game. And I wanted my own copy of Final Fantasy VII, even though we had already completed it when he got his launch copy. Wow, cool. Yeah. So, nice, cool. nice. Sorry for oh. that long-winded one. No, 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 it's all right. Yeah, it's no, that's exactly <laughs> what I wanted to, to get to see our, our you know, eventual point to where we got yeah. to 1997. Uh, Eddie, would, yeah. you like, would you like to go next? Yeah. Um, so I started off with uh, Nintendo. Yeah. That was my first console ever. I was such a small kid. Um, so I grew up with like Mario, 
just anything Nintendo related. You know, I, I eventually bought the Super Nintendo, got Donkey Kong Country, uh, more Mario Kart, um, <clears throat> and then eventually got the Nintendo 64 as well. Yeah. And But still stayed within the realm of just Mario games, you know, mm-hmm. action platformers. I think I, I was playing Mega Man. Yeah, uh, as oh, well yeah, around yeah. those yeah, times. Mega so Mega Man, Man was fun. Mm-hmm. I think they had Contras out around that time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I played a lot of fighting games. Uh, I was really good at Mortal Kombat. Oh, nice. <laughs> Which one? Mortal Kombat? One, two, or three. I think once three came out, I was probably the, where my best skills were at. Me too. I love three. <laughs> Something I'll, about three probably, is yeah, just, three I was just amazing just at it. such a good game, yeah. Just whooping everybody's butts. Love one. Not the biggest, <laughs> not the biggest fan of two. Love three. So. Yeah, it was yeah. three. It was, just, yeah. it was just an amazing game. Yeah. Um, so around the time that Final Fantasy came out, I think I was just so young that I didn't know anything about it. Nobody was telling me about mm-hmm. these games. All of my friends, we were just playing the same Nintendo 64 games. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of interesting. I didn't know about Final Fantasy until probably the year, I want to say 2000 when Tony Hawk okay. came out. Yeah, Tony Hawk. Because oh, I have yeah, a, I have I a memory of going to my cousin's house and he was playing the game Final Fantasy 7. Oh, okay. And I would tell him, Hey, yeah. why don't you? Why don't we play Tony Hawk instead? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> and, I love Tony Hawk and, on the PlayStation. And it's funny because knowing weird. the way that he reacted, yeah. it makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> he was so into the game; it was probably such a great game. He was like, "You really want to play this yeah. over this amazing game?" And I was just like, at the time, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I like Tony Hawk. Let's go! Wow. Okay. So that's yeah. That's basically what I've been, I guess. So there Plain. was a chance, uh, there was an opportunity. Yeah. But you were just on in the, in the N- N64 realm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, going to me, uh, you know, it's interesting hearing your guys' story because for me, I remember role playing games as early as the Commodore, watching my brothers play uh, the Bard's Tale series. Mm. And, and those were just like kind of a text based uh, kind of click. You had to make your own maps on graph paper. I used to watch them do that and uh, not knowing how much it influenced me on wanting to play those games as well. I remember when I was finally old enough to finally play it, they would let me play it and, and load it up and everything. And they, they showed me how to do the maps on the graph paper and, and lear- learning how, uh, how the mechanics of the gameplay work. Because even then, I, I thought it was really cool because in, in Bard's Tale, one of the earliest memories I have with RPGs is that um, when you leveled up, you didn't automatically get skills. You you had to go to school to a school and get them. I thought that was really cool. And then after that, uh, after the Commodore, we had the Genesis, and that was a big, strong influence on gaming in my life. Was everything Genesis, and even there, we played a lot of the RPGs on that. Where uh, Might and Magic Two was a big one that I played. I played everything in that game. I did a lot, and there's tons to do in that game. That's a great game. Uh, Might and Magic, and then uh, also the uh, Fantasy Star series. Uh, uh, for, for one Christmas, I got Fantasy Star 2, and that was my first, uh, I, I, I want to say my first JRPG type of video game, and it totally changed my world after that, because after that, it was that's all I wanted to play. And I'm a big fan of the Fantasy Star series, so I played the third one, and I played the fourth one. Uh, eventually, I got my hands on a Master System, and I was able to play the first one, uh, and then from there, uh, we didn't get a, a 64 or anything after the Genesis, actually. Uh, for a long time, we, we just I just played mainly uh, anything I could get my hands on in a, on a Macintosh. So I played like the original Diablo, uh, Diablo 2, I played those a lot. Um, and then from there, uh, my brother sent, to me, uh, sent us a copy of the Kinetics uh, Virtual Game Station, which was... What's that? So that is, um, it's a way to play PlayStation games on a computer. Oh, oh, I heard wow. about that. Yeah. That's right. That was a license. That was not mm-hmm. a licensing, but that was a sold in retail. Yes, you had one of those. I've yes. heard the story. Yeah, and then it, they eventually got shut down because Sony mm-hmm. sued them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we actually had a copy of that, and uh, we tried to play some PlayStation games on it. We eventually did get a copy of it, but I don't think we got a copy of Final Fantasy VII until I want to say 2000. Uh, but even then, it didn't work very well on the kinetics. So. Uh, one of the characters actually, whenever she, uh, it was Tifa, whenever she used her um, her limit break, it would constantly break the game. So I couldn't use her in my original party. Uh, but we'll get into that later. Uh, but I, so so we tried to play it on on the kinetics, and it didn't really work very well. Uh, so we finally got my my brother and I pitched in, and we both got a PlayStation One eventually. 
and then and then from there I was able to play a lot more of the RPGs on the PlayStation One, and including Final that, Fantasy Seven. That's what that system was known for. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was an RPG machine. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Um, so and 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 even then, um, I was aware of Final Fantasy too because I had played uh, six, um, and uh, I. What did you play it on? On the Super Nintendo. Okay, so you did play the Super Nintendo. You didn't yes. play one of the remakes that they because by two thousand they had re-released that on the PlayStation already. Uh, there was a PlayStation version of six. Y- yeah. Yes, I do believe I have that. The anthology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's part of the, it's the which two has five. It has five and six. On yeah, it. and then yes. there's one that has like oh, I can't remember. There's another anthology that has like tactics and something else. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I played tactics as well. We yeah. we we played tactics. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the RPGs. Well, that's that's another discussion we can get into. All the RPGs that I've played over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, but we eventually went to that route where we I didn't have a sixty four. I I didn't uh, we didn't have any of that, or even a Super Nintendo. Really, um, I was able to play Super Nintendo games via a method that I'm not gonna go into too many details about. <laughs> uh, but I was able to play Final Fantasy VI. I love that game. And then um, and then uh, I found out about about or oh, sorry Final Fantasy three yes thank you. and then when Final Fantasy seven came out I was so confused about the whole jump in the numbers uh, but I was well uh, well aware of the Final Fantasy series and I was like okay I need to play this game I want to play this game and I did get to play it and it's uh, like I mentioned before it's very near and dear to my heart hmm. nice uh, so I, with that I want to go into our next topic of the hype that was brought about Final Fantasy VII, because when that game was first released, it was, I want to say it was pretty much groundbreaking in terms of uh, what you got visually, uh, story-wise. Music. And CD music. quality music. Oh, that yes, was yes. That was a big push for, that's one of the many factors why it ended up on the PlayStation. It was originally supposed to be on the Super Nintendo, or Super Famicom, and then the whole... Uh, Philips, uh, not the Phil, yeah, the whole Philips yeah, Sony the Philips CDI. Mm-hmm. Uh, debacle, and then yep. Sony going off and making their own thing, and then uh, Square wanting to go to that because of the limitation of cartridges at the time, yeah, and yeah. the fact that they had this new platform where they could fully realize their game, mm-hmm. so they were big on that, and a lot of the CD quality audio was part of that. Yeah, on yeah. on three CDs that game was on. Yeah. Uh, three yeah. CDs, three yeah. CDs, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, three discs. Yeah, it was huge at the time. I just remember. That game because my friend was super, super hyped for that game. So all of my hype for that game came from him. He pre-ordered that. He went to the midnight launch at an EB in the Santa Monica Mall. Waited there wow. until midnight to get it, and then go home, and then fell right asleep. <laughs> and then the next day after, uh, the next day I came over. I think I can't remember what day it was released. I don't remember if it was after school the next day or if it was on a weekend. Oh, because I don't remember the release dates back then. But I remember the next day it came out going to his house, and that's when he started playing it, and we would take turns playing it and stuff like that. We have to check the date on that. I, yeah. It's September seventh in in nineteen ninety seven. Is when it was released. I don't know if September seventh, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah, you look into that. Yeah, I'll look into uh, that in a second here. Uh, I'm gonna say that I remember seeing the commercials for it when I was a kid, and and just like being blown away by what was being shown there, and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks freaking fantastic. And then uh, the the advertisements in all the newspaper, or not newspapers, but oh, what you see the date? Yeah, that can't be right. That says Sunday. I don't think there were Sunday releases. No, that can't be right. Yeah, then. yeah. So I don't know the release, the huh. North American release date on that, if that's correct. Yeah, that, that can't yeah, be Yeah, September right. 7th, 1997 is a Sunday, so. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, but seeing all yeah. the ads in, in the gaming ma- magazines, and you just seeing, seeing Cloud with that huge buster sword, not even knowing what it was originally, but just seeing him with that huge sword, it's like, okay, this looks epic already. Yeah, can, can I just go back and talk about hype real quick? <laughs> because yes. of that, because 7 was so amazing of a game, and I, I like the game, I think it's good, um, really good, not my favorite RPG all the time, my personal reasons for other RPGs, but it's mm. it's a phenomenal game, There's it's hard to argue it not being the best overall, but you say about seeing pictures, I remember yes. then seeing pictures of 8 with Squall and that yeah. gun blade, yeah. and being so hyped, and then yeah. playing that and being so disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to throw that out there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, that's yeah. very My true. Hatred for eight that's very through. true. Yeah. yeah. That, that actually that'd be a really interesting topic about uh, hyped up games that yeah. fail to deliver. Uh, but Final Fantasy VII. C three D. But Final Fantasy VII, I, I, it delivered across even more than what was expected. Even mm-hmm. what what I, what I did see. Uh, and something I do want to touch upon is is the the characters that you were shown in it. Whereas uh, one particular character, I thought that helped deliver it uh you know to get into the homes of the gamers is tifa 
who in, in the game she is very um she's animated in a well that's very pleasing to the eye okay and uh i'll admit when i first played the game i i like the style i like i thought she was a really interesting character okay. she's a, a a cool strong character that could kick butt and ha and hang as well as as any of the heroes in the game yeah. and that was one of the major reasons why i wanted to play uh, which is something that I was actually looking forward to and seeing in the remake because I was wondering how she was going to be designed in this newer version. Very top heavy. Uh, no, no, no. I haven't. I haven't seen the trailer for the. Remake. Oh, you haven't seen no, it. No, no, I haven't no. seen that yet. So I have no idea. Well, because the old Tifas were a yes. bit, a bit like, oh, yeah, she's gonna have back problems when uh, she grows up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the sh her design was changed for Advent Children, which was in two thousand five. Uh, I guess it she, was a her, little, yeah. Her whole design, yeah. her whole attire, Is everything was... Is it based was, off of that? Yes, okay. yes, yeah, very much so. Uh, and it still looks fantastic. It still looks great. Um, I was curious to see, you know, how she was going to be portrayed, if she was going to look more uh, like the old school style or towards the redesign towards uh, that was done during um, Advent Children. And it's it's the re re redesign. And it still looks great. She still looks awesome. She still looks super powerful and super strong. And she's still an iconic character. Mm hmm yeah. Yeah. I didn't going into the game I didn't know about Tifa. And playing the game Tifa was just a support character someone else for me that was in your party. Mm -hmm. It was always about Cloud and that hair and that sword and yeah. how cool it was. And even Barrett with his cool like, "Oh, he look at his gun hand. That's amazing." Yeah. I didn't know about what the word even fan service meant at that time back in 97 because well, it was a new pre, thing. Yeah, pre-internet, that you weren't weren't as exposed to the idea of things that come across from Japanese culture to here. They were just accepted, like you know, video games that were translated here. You just accepted them for what they were. You didn't understand a lot of the cultural meaning behind it. Yeah, like good examples: the game Pocky and Rocky on the Super Nintendo. Love that game as a kid. It's about a little girl and a raccoon, and it's like this top-down walking shooter. Uh -huh. Really difficult game, but there's so much Japanese lore in that game yeah, that yeah. at the time, as a kid, I had no idea what it was. I thought they were just quirky, fun-looking characters. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's, and like even the little thing she swings is like this stick with like these little triangles on it to get away oh, yeah. the spirits. The spirits. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, but as a kid, I don't know that. I just think it's a weapon. So yeah, I, yeah, I, did, yeah. I never got that whole, like, I didn't play the game. And to me, Tifa didn't affect the game at all. Yes. So, like, once again, I haven't seen that second trailer. From, I've seen the first trailer, but I haven't seen the second trailer where they reveal Tifa. But yeah. to me, that doesn't seem like something I need to see to know. You know, like, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not something I was waiting for personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, just, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect me one way or the other with that game. Well, yeah. I, I, think, I think what she was trying to do was, was something along the lines of what, like, Laura Croft yeah. first did when she was, you know, presented. Yeah. Uh, it was designed in a way to kind of catch the attention. Um, you know, and then you realize, oh, there's great gameplay to go with it. Yeah. You know, um, so with the redesign, I think it looks great. I think she's really cool. Um, that was part of the reasons why I did play in the, in the, in the first place. Uh, so going on with to our next topic, uh, how I've already mentioned before, this this game is very near to, near and dear to my heart. Uh, when they showed the release trailer in. Um, in the little segments that they did for Nintendo, when they they, they showed um, Ares and and uh, or sorry Aerith and yeah. and the little green little uh, floaties around here, the Mako, yeah, and they played the music and they're they're announcing that they're re-releasing uh, Final Fantasy VII on the Switch, yeah, I, I I welled up a little bit, I I got a tear to my yeah. eye and I was like it it moved me because the game and everything that it has. Oh, um, I didn't mention this in the beginning, uh, but. We're doing no spoilers. Oh yeah, no there's spoilers. no spoilers <laughs> because Eddie yes, here hasn't Eddie has, played. Has no idea what. what no idea what yeah. you guys are talking yeah. about. Yeah. I was like, "What is a Tifa?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll find out. Yeah, you'll find out. Um, yeah. Uh, I just, I, I just want to say on that, like when they announced it for the Switch, I kind of felt the complete opposite. I was very like another another system to release this on yes. because i know we're going to get into how many systems we've bought yeah, this for yeah. and how many times we bought this game uh, but it was just like to me that one don't get me wrong i love nintendo everything should be on nintendo switch yes. oh yeah for yeah. me with how it just fits into my gameplay habits it's just it's great but i don't know if i needed a non remade slight not even slight remade it's just a straight port of the pc version for the switch yeah and i just don't know if i needed that and especially at what was it 30 dollars or something like that 20 for, 30 dollars for the switch no it's, yeah it's 15 oh 15 oh, okay 15 dollars okay. yeah Fair enough. i still think bad. 
hey, it's not too bad, but to me, it's a little pricey for that. But, hey, that's just me on this this game, considering how many times I bought it. But, yeah, it's, I guess it doesn't, it's a, a solid game. I enjoy the game. I'm not sitting here trying to say the game doesn't have things, but I guess I just, I have a different connection to it. It's not an emotional connection so much. Mm-hmm. For me, the connection with my game is more the camaraderie of playing it with my friend. Oh, okay. It's more of a friendship thing. I look at that game as like a symbol of like, hey, this was classic sitting at someone's house in wow. front of a CRT TV playing this game. I have the yeah. complete I know, opposite. I know. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Nice. Yeah. No, not yeah. for me. This yeah. is because, you know, I growing up, I never really had friends to play with. I never really went outside much myself. I was a homebody. I loved playing my RPGs. And this was just another one where I was able to put it on and enjoy the story, enjoy the characters, and enjoy the music everything like that um I, i've played this game multiple times I, I think i've played it i think seven times wow um and i uh there was the original one that we owned but that one that one belongs to my brother uh i I've, I've um i have it um the on the playstation network yeah so i have it on my vita i have it on my ps3 and i don't i don't know if i have it on my ps4 i'm not sure if i can i don't know yeah um, I have no idea about that, to be honest. I, can't, I couldn't tell you. I don't turn on my PS4 enough uh, now to, to, to check that. I, I do yeah. want to say that the, the amount of times yeah. that I have played it isn't a complete playthrough. It's at least attempts. Okay, okay, good. Because um, I was going to point that out. Complete playthroughs versus yeah. attempts. Because, okay. yeah, it's because of time. But yeah. hey, hey, Eddie, how many times have you fought them? Oh, video? wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always throwing something on my face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's just it's uh, again when and then to go back to the Switch, like it was being announced for the Switch, and I was like, I love the Switch, I can play yeah. it anywhere. I was like, oh, do I want to get it again? But I was like, I have it on my Vita, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I, I think the last time I played this game too was about um, maybe two, three years ago. Okay, so I had played it recently. And I how far did you again. get? Uh, I've completed it. Oh, okay, I completed good, it. Good, yeah, good, yeah. Good, good, yeah. Uh, and I, and I, I would even do it again now because I love this game so much. And going back to uh, something you said about the music, I'm glad you, you mentioned that because there's one particular song that always reminds me of an actual song. So in the music in, in uh, Nibelheim, there's a guitar riff that plays, and it always reminds me of this one song. Um, I can't remember the name of it. You can help me probably. Uh, I think it's like Smash Mouth, and it goes like, uh, I hit, and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to, not to live full front. Your mind gets dumb. But your heart gets smart. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm doing I don't a terrible know. job. Uh, I am not a Smash Mouth aficionado, uh, except for All Star because of Shrek. Yeah, I think it's All Star. Yeah, oh, thank you. It sounds cool. like that. Cool, yeah. yeah. I, 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 don't think it's I don't know. Eddie I don't know if that's Eddie the name would, of it, but Eddie I, I kind of hear your beat. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. this sounds familiar. Eddie would be the one for 90s <laughs> pop music. Okay, thank you. Because yeah. that, that part of the song, it reminds me of the, the guitar riff, reminds me of a song from Final Fantasy VII. And I don't know which one I love more. I, lo- I don't know if I love Final Fantasy VII more because of that guitar riff, because of that the Smash Mouth song. Or I love that Smash Mouth song because it reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. But obviously, what I'm just trying to point yeah. out here is that this game is is just important to me. It's iconic, yeah. and that's why I was so blown away by your stance, Eddie, where you've never played it before. It's it just seems like such a staple of of uh, RPG um, gamers out there, and and that's why I, I'm I think the position that you're in is so so beautiful and so wonderful because you get to experience it for the first time however you now, want to yeah yeah question uh, are all the final fantasy games somehow related no no because i've never Zero. i've never played any actually. Zero. Played real quick any i've never okay. played wow. any so so real, yeah. real quick uh the first final fantasy game was made by square for the nes and the reason it's called final fantasy yeah. is because square <laughs> wasn't sure they were going to be a company and this was going to be the last game they put out that's it. Wow. Yeah, Without a, yeah. Sold well in Japan, did okay here in the States, and they're like, huh, let's do this again. Oh, wait, we already have this series called Final Fantasy. Let's just call it Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> yeah. And 3 and 4, and now they're up to 15. Which, by the way, I am playing through uh, the, the funny-looking one on the Switch. Um, the final, oh, the, the pocket, chibi one, the, right? the chibi one, the yeah. pocket edition. And I am extremely enjoying that, weirdly, because the story is just, I like the angsty, like, prince who doesn't who doesn't want to be king but knows he has to be. And I, I don't know, I'm just really enjoying that. 
you know, yeah. I, I'm glad you brought that yeah. up because then I think this next question. Yeah. Oh, real quick, back to the RPG thing. You were talking about how yes. iconic and you were shocked that Eddie didn't play it. Oh, yeah, right, right. I am sitting in a room with two people who haven't played my favorite RPG of Earthbound, but yet oh, I'm, right. but I'm used to that because yeah. not many people play Earthbound and love Earthbound. So there are a lot of people who love Earthbound now, but it's not one of those common ones. It's not like a Final Fantasy VII where it's like, what do you mean you haven't played this? So mm -hmm. to me, it's like, no, I'm used to that reaction of finding people. You ever play Earthbound? What's that? Ah, oh, cool. I played Earthbound by proxy. My brother played it, okay. and I, I watched him play it. Yeah. I saw a certain scene. I've seen the ending. Uh, I know of it. Uh, I know of the development of it. It's super interesting. That's a great one. That's a cool one. Uh, going back to Final Fantasy VII, um, the thing about um, what I was trying to say about yeah. you know the, the fondness that I, that I have for this game uh, is that, um, I don't know, the, the, the story is, is so great, but even then, like... If you take apart um, all the all the scenes that happen in this game, this game makes no sense, and it's another reason why I love this game too. And again, it's like I'm not going to go into too many details yeah. because I don't want any spoilers. Uh, but it's such an oddly well put together game that it just works really, really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, going off of that last topic that you brought up too, I think what might be interesting uh, to go over really quick before us is what was the last Final Fantasy that you played. 15, right 15, there. Yeah. I'm in the middle. So, I'm in the middle of playing 15. I think I'm in the fourth or fifth chapter. 15? No. Um, played a little one, a little two. I don't like three. Um, this is Japanese order, by the way. This is American order. Yeah, yeah. I've played four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Tried eight. Yeah. Enjoy nine, but haven't beat nine. Can't stand uh, Titus and ten. 11 really? and wow. 13, I wow. want to say 11 and 13 are the two online ones, right? Or 11 and 14. Um, I'm not sure. Have never played one of the online ones. Um, 13 is the one with lightning, so I have played that yeah. one. I did not finish that one. A lot of the Final Fantasies I haven't finished. And, wow. and 14 is online. Yeah, 11 and 14. And then 12, I was playing... It was weird. It was in college. Had two CRT TVs on one TV. I was playing Twilight Princess on the Wii. And next to me, my friend was playing Final Fantasy XII on the PlayStation wow. 2. So I kind of watched him play and wow. the whole Gambit fighting style and everything. I like the judges. I like the story. But I did not like what I saw from the gameplay. So I totally skipped over XII. Hmm. Hmm. And fifteen's an action-based one, which I love an action RPG. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I played... The last one I played was like X2. <laughs> that was the last oh, wow. one that I played. Yeah. yeah. So I played a one and, and two... And I have three. I haven't finished it. I have that one on the DS. Yeah, I don't like three because it's it feels. I don't know if I'm wrong, and I never just gave it a chance. But the whole time I was in the game, I never felt con because you don't really have a main character in three. Right. It's more of a class system thing. So there was no connection to the story, and there was nothing that really drove me to go further in the game. And maybe I just w I didn't give it enough hours. I think I put something like eight to ten hours into that game. Wow. On the DS, and I was just like, that's just not for me. I got all yeah. the way to the last tower, yeah. and then for, for whatever reason, I got pulled away, and I never came back. Okay. Yeah. But I would totally finish it. Yeah. I, could. Uh, I, I don't think I've played four. Uh, I played five. I always get stuck in the same point at five, so I've never completed it. Uh, I played six. Uh, I played seven. Uh, I, I, I own eight. I've never gotten to play it for some reason. You don't. Um, I've played nine and ten. and um, Actually, and ten do, you do you like ten? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. So what I found real quick on a side note is people who like seven tend to like nine. And mm -hmm. 10 is split, mm -hmm. but people who love 10 tend to like 8. Huh, interesting. Quite a bit. I don't know. Huh. It's, just, it's just something when I'm talking to people about Final Fantasy games, and of course you talk about you talk about 7, 8, 9, and 10 a lot because that was like the that was the golden era, I guess. Actually, mm -hmm. you can even throw 5 and 6 in there, really, but yeah, yeah. a lot of people didn't play 6 because it was 3 here and on the Super Nintendo, and you know, you don't find as many people who played that originally, but mm -hmm. starting with seven, seven through ten are just the like everyone's except for Eddie has played those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, who's played Final Fantasy or plays RPGs have, has at least experienced those in some way, maybe not completed them, but at least given yeah. them all a chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think that's a great uh, a way we can go into our next yeah. section is talking about the remake. And I think you're really hitting the, the nail on the head here because of of how many gamers have played this game, probably started off with this game. Yeah. The PlayStation was so groundbreaking, and a lot of people probably got PlayStation and got Final Fantasy VII with it, 
you know, because it's like Gex was the big seller on the fucking. Really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> with you. okay. It's fucking Gex, man. It's the Geico. It's the Geico. Um, oh yeah, the lizard thing. The lizard thing. The uh, gecko, gecko from Geico. Gecko, that's yeah. it's Gex. That's the video game right there. <laughs> you go around selling insurance to people. I have nice. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. Um, okay, so yeah. I think that's one of the reasons why this remake is happening. So why the remake? Because I know you are kind of questioning. You know. Yeah. Why is this game game getting a remake? Yeah, I, I mean, I understand why it's getting a remake because technology and the love of that game. Yes, the game yes. is loved by all. Yeah, yeah. And Does if, that mean it's the best one in the series? Would, would that ooh, would seven that's be a, the best that's, one in the series? That's objective. I mean, oh. a lot of people will fight for six. Uh, some people will fight for four or five. But uh, oh, I would say six. Yeah, a lot I of think, people like I think six. Six, six is, is one of those ground, those iconic one. ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Okay, but so. seven, a lot of people will fight you on seven. You after seven, you don't really hear much of the conversation. You hear about good games there, but you don't hear really the conversation of the best Final Fantasy. I guess it's between six and seven are the real argument points there. Okay. For people, just for personal tastes, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. I think that's a great question too, because then if if six was getting a remake, an HD remake. I, Would you be into it? See, I don't know because when I think of the Square Enix RPGs, I love what they did with Octopath. Uh -huh, they uh -huh, did uh -huh. HD traditional Square yeah. RPG. Yeah. To me, that's beautiful. I'm like, oh, this is that will bring a tear to my eye if I ever finish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but that's the kind of game that I see. I, I get all these remakes. I guess it's it's not so much on the Final Fantasy remake. It's just we are in all media right now. It feels like because we're coming of the age. I'm sure this happened to our parents and before them. We're coming to the age where we're hitting in that wheelhouse of mid twenties to forties. You know where everything that you grew up with yeah. is being remade yeah. to a degree. Mm -hmm. If it's from Ducktales to uh, Halloween movies to Friday the Thirteenth to just video games like yeah. every video game that was iconic to us is starting to get a remake an hd remake because there's new technology and it's for you to buy to have a nostalgia and share it with your kids and for the new generation and i get it i guess i'm just kind of i just want more original ideas and seeing remakes again and again and again kind of wears on me personally and so that's probably where i'm kind of like eh, no i think that's i think that's what trying to be done with this remake yeah. i believe that the remake is 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 the original story that yeah. they were trying to accomplish in the first place with the playstation release yeah. so this is going to have everything that we love in the, in the original release plus everything that they they originally envisioned okay so i think it's going to be you know uh, to 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 quote um my my hero academia it's going to be plus ultra it's going to be even more than you expected. Okay. It's going to be more than you originally loved. Is that including, you think, the combat system? You think if they could have had it where... Because I know the remake is supposed to be more like action and not turn-based. Yes. Do you think maybe that's what they wanted originally as well? I, was there limitations you know, that they couldn't make it that way? No, like no. That? There was no limitations that they couldn't make it that way on the PlayStation because the Ease games were out at that point, and the Ease games are a perfect example of action RPGs done on a system. The PlayStation had the Ease games. Well, I think the the action uh, action battle system is more of an evolution yeah. of, of of the modern, battle of system. modern gaming yeah. of you know other it's, it's other God of War style yes, games exactly. where it's very fast paced and heavy yeah. hitting and feeling Gears of War. Well, that's more shooting, but like when you chainsaw someone in Gears of War, that's satisfying, and it feels. I don't know if I'm the only one who does this real quick, but I like in games when you press a button and you hit something in a game or an action is taken. But mentally, you feel like it's it's an actual hit. Like oh, that's yeah. here's oh, no, a, I feel a perfect you. example I completely is back to Mortal Kombat Three. What was amazing about Mortal Kombat Three was every time you punched someone and got someone into a combo, it felt like almost like mentally you were almost actually performing that action and hitting them. And then you play other games and you go and you hit, and it feels so empty. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. It's just sometimes games get that right and it you depends just depends on the game yeah yeah it depends on the game, the game and you feel that like god of war games you feel like you're head hitting everything because the actions are so long and drawn out and dramatic and just so satisfying yeah and i think that will really help this game but yeah i think that's where the change is because they they're going to that i think even if they had the ability to tell the whole story and give all the stuff in there i think it still would have been turn-based because that's what final fantasies were up until that point and that was the expectation
No, I think original, what you're saying yeah. is really interesting because it's almost as if if you look at the original actions that the characters were doing in the original Final Fantasy VII, yeah. they they're doing the same thing now. It's just they're actually Real making time. physical contact with the enemies. Yeah. All the all the characters have an a- attack action. Yeah. Practically all the characters are are physically based except for uh, two. Which use uh, guns mainly, yeah. and uh, well, third that uses a throwing type of weapon. A weapon, yeah. uh, but you know, you just you're just taking that action instead of just having them go like up to the enemy, yeah. or just across the screen, selecting it and watching it. Yeah, it. you're yeah. running and doing it in real time. I'm just wondering because I didn't play the demo. To, I touched talk to the people I know who played the demo. If I think they said it's just real time action combat. It's not like. If you watch the Dragon Quest XI, it's real-time turn-based action combat. Hmm. So you go up and you swing and you hit, yeah. but then you still have a cooldown meter before you can hit again like yeah. an RPG. So I think this one's just more of the God of War style yeah, of just keep going, hit, keep going, keep going. Keep chain going. And, yeah. and keep the, the, the yeah. stack going. Yeah. yeah, And still controlling the other characters as well? I, well, think, I think you think... set up what you want them to do, like yeah. attack first or defend or heal. Like You oh, could, okay, you could okay. set their... I'm sure you could switch to them and take over them to fight with them, but they have like default ones that you can put on them. So when you're not interacting with them, they do something. Oh, I think yeah. it's very Kingdom Hearts. Type yes, of, yeah, uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah, combat system. Yeah. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be excellent if they put if they put just Mickey Mouse in Final Fantasy VII? Which, that's what it would feel which like. I haven't played. Oh, no, neither. I, I I try to play. Oh, I can't get into the combat system. Oh my god! I tried <laughs> to play one. Talk about a game that feels like you hit something when you hit it. Kingdom Hearts definitely delivers. Oh, yeah, wow, okay. yeah, I like it. I, I tried. I like Kingdom Hearts games. Man, it's Earthbound all over again here. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. So then, then yeah. with all this said, let's yeah. move on to our final section yeah. of the final thoughts. And now, Eddie, this is your time to shine because, given <laughs> everything that we've said, you can now give us your opinion on what you might take next on in terms of playing the original, getting the remake. Or, or maybe just skipping it all together. Maybe this game doesn't sound like it's something for you, which is, you know, it's not for everybody, right? And not everything is made for everybody. Yeah. But there's something I want to highlight that, that you mentioned, Nick, that I wasn't aware of <laughs> uh, about this, this uh, remake. It's, it's only a chapter mm-hmm. of the whole story. It's the first 10 the hours first... of the original. It's, the, it's Midgar. Midgar is the first area. That's not a spoiler, really, because you start off in Midgar. Mm-hmm. It's, it's Midgar. From the beginning up until the end of the Midgar yeah. chapter yeah. or the, the Midgar sequence, yeah. um, which is about 10 hours or less. I think depending, eight, depending, yeah. Yeah, depending on oh your playthrough style. I think it's like 8 to 10 hours of the first game. Which How is, long is this game? Uh, the original uh, was like 70, 70 to 90 yeah, hours, depending on. 70 to 90 hours? Yeah, yeah, which depending is, on which is standard, I believe. For an RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So okay. then this one. Okay. This one, they I think they said this one's going to be, I can't remember the number, but it's going to be close. This one chapter is not just going to be 10 hours. It's just going to be the first 10 hours of the first disc. Uh-huh. But the game itself is going to be much longer than 10 hours. It's not like they're selling you 10 hours of the game. Don't, I'm not saying that. The game will have much more and be much longer um, than that. I think they're just going to put in more random encounters. No, I'm just being a jerk. <laughs> yeah. here. I'm just being a jerk. Yeah. Every two steps. Yeah. Uh, which I love. I love that whole spin and everything. Yeah, yeah. and I love the fights because yeah. you can, then you get to do the the stance at the end. Uh, can, can we can we, can we talk about the price point real quick about yes. this now that we've yes. gotten to the chapter thing? Okay. Can you please run down these prices because yes. I, I do want I do have a little to talk about this. Okay, so now that you know that this is just a chapter, mm-hmm. here's the price for the standard release. So it's just the game by itself. Yeah. It's fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Now, if you want to go with the deluxe, which comes with a steel book, a case, an art book. Uh, two special summons within the game. Maybe you get them like early on. Digital, I'm yeah, yeah, like digital summons. And, and the soundtrack, which sounds awesome, is seventy nine ninety nine, which sounds pretty cool. Now, there's also a first class edition, which comes with everything I just mentioned, uh, plus an additional summon, and this giant cloud uh, figurine plus the bike from one of the scenes, from one just yes. one little scene in the game. Yes. Uh, being sold with it, it is three hundred and twenty nine. The bike is also from Advent Children too. He rides oh, it quite right. a bit. He, he's yeah. all brooding on his bike. Yeah. I, yeah, I just yeah. want to say I do like Cloud's design because it's a in between of Advent Children and classic pointy hair. Yeah. Which makes me happy that they kept closer to classic pointy hair. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, but about those prices, um, yeah, sixty dollars for a first chapter. It's cool. It's fine because of how big the game is going to be. 
But just think about this as a fan of Final Fantasy VII, especially you who's going to buy this remake. If this thing ends up being five to seven chapters, yeah, I don't just know. for the base game, you paid three hundred dollars for a game that you know the outcome of already. <laughs> yeah, just saying that. Yeah. Um, the the other one with the soundtrack is cool. I don't know if I like the the early summons because that I don't know. I hopefully that's not like overpowered for the game saying it's i don't like pay to win ideas i hope it's uh -huh. just more uh -huh. aesthetics and uh -huh. it's limited to your level which would be fine and the soundtrack is cool but that 370 80 dollar 380 uh three, 329 329 sorry 330 dollar edition for um, the figurine, figurine. And the bike. if you want to see what the figurine looks like and you don't want to type it into google go watch our e3 coverage there's a quick uh part of the video where i actually go buy a a case that has it in there. I oh, did it nice. at the time. I didn't realize it was part of the first class. We only have the case for a couple seconds, but you can kind of see the scale because people are standing next to it. Yeah, it's pretty so, tall. Yeah, it's pretty tall. Um, I am not for because I don't collect figures. I know people collect figures for resale. I get if you're gonna if you're collecting the bike because the bike can only be had through this one. The cloud yeah. statue can be bought on Square for one hundred and fifty dollars outright. But they're not selling the bike. The only way to get the bike is to get this edition. Wow. If that's what you're in, some people get figures based on rarity, knowing that in the future they'll go up in price, or just because they love them, that is awesome. But for me, it's not that. The only way they could have got me with a statue is if they would have done a PlayStation 1-looking cloud statue, just giant oh, polygons yeah. in yeah. a statue. Might have had my attention, but yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that would have been And cool. just imagine if they do a first-class edition for every chapter then. And you're Ooh, buying geez. all of these. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It, it, then it would be like iconic figurines yes. from the game. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, like you would have that and then Barrett and then Tifa and then uh, Aerith. A Red they, 13. Red 13, yeah, Cat that, Sith. Yeah. Um, oh, Cat, Cat Sith. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like oh, what if yeah. they did that for every chapter? You, wow, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So there's things to think about in the future there. But with all that said, and sorry I was talking about this. No, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, yeah. and, and one last price yeah. point is on the Switch, the original yeah. game is only fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. For the is, original that, uh, game. is it enhanced no. at least? No, no it's, the it's, the exact... it's the PC port. So yeah. the okay. PC port was a little bit better than the PlayStation One, but I don't probably I don't know the differences. Fix. Yeah, probably some bugs yeah. fix, but nothing. It's if you like Final Fantasy VII, it's it's a solid copy of it. Uh, yeah, really okay. quick. Since since you're yeah. mentioning that, there, I want to bring up uh, a YouTube uh, channel yeah. that I go to for information about Final Fantasy VII because yeah. that game is surprisingly buggy. In the in the state that you can buy it in the production uh, state, so the YouTube channel is four uh, eight productions. Uh, this this guy has, knows everything about it. These these videos he shows is where it's like you know you, the game that you get it it still has a lot of bugs in it, and and well, it that's possibly how it was could back be, in the day. Yeah, 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 and that's probably the same one that you get on the Switch now. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably really similar to it. So there was are going to be any like a story. Block mm. progression blocker no. type of bugs. Uh, you know, actually, actually, would, think, oh, there are. I think there is one. Hmm. I think there is really? one in the third disc where you're in the ice cave. That's not a spoiler. <laughs> There's ice in the game. Yeah. Oh, ice in the game. Ice cave, yeah. It's not for me. Screw this. <laughs> game. Yeah. Where like if you pick up an item or something like that, then you're locked and you're stuck. Oh really? I have yeah, no idea I about that. I think so. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, that's not good, Ricky. No, it's okay. not good. Because that's the reason why I didn't finish uh, Skyrim actually. Whoa, really? Because I had a progression blocker where I got to like the dragon, the boss, and then I, he wasn't taking no damage. Uh, and every whoa. time that I tried to reload the game, yeah. like, I don't know what was wrong. He wouldn't take any damage so, from me. So, don't pick up items in Ice Cave. You're done. Okay. Now you can get past yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny. I had that kind of instance, too, in uh, when I was playing uh, Xenogears on the Kinetics. There was a boss fight, and for some reason, I couldn't do damage to the boss. That's weird. And it was only on the kinetics. Let me just say, Xenogears is a phenomenal game. Xenogears <laughs> yes. is amazing. Yes, that's a great game. Yeah. If it was ever finished. Yeah. Yeah. The saga. Yeah. Yeah. No, not the saga. Oh, no, just... the original. The original game could have been. It was, was supposed to be a lot more. Oh, really? It yeah, was. Yeah, I did yeah, not know still, that. It's still a great game. Yeah. yeah. Man, you guys play a lot more games than I have. Oh, well, we, 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 we did. <laughs> like, I haven't even played that one. Obviously, I didn't even you didn't have as many friends as you did. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah, I was always friends, out yeah. in the streets, you know, playing with my friends. Yeah. That's where I was inside playing video games. Me too. Um. Yeah. So okay. So yeah. So you have a lot to think about. Oh man. Do you think you can make the decision now? Is it a decision for me to make? Oh, I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, you, you, okay, did, you, you did originally yeah. suggest yeah. that I forego the original, it's remember? An and, yeah. and you said I should just play the, the remake Well, that was, that was before I knew of this chapter thing. Yeah. Okay. Because even mean, if I do just play the remake, then we could talk i got to wait for it in yeah. chapters, right? Then we could talk yeah. to you for like 12 minutes. And then we'll be like, <laughs> we're done. Cool. So you understand. And then... Chapters. I don't know how often the chapters are coming out, but they haven't released. Yeah. They haven't announced the release date for the second chapter. If the first chapter even makes that release oh, date. Oh wow! Okay. 
it's looking like this game mm-hmm. will go into the PS5, whatever it's going to be called, era. Which How is, much time do I have till they release the remake? Uh, it's March, next year, March third, twenty twenty. Yeah, you have lots of time. I think I've decided then. I'm going to go ahead and get it on the Switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. going to go ahead, and I'm going to play the original on the Switch. Awesome. Nice. We'll follow up on this on a later podcast after yeah, you're done totally. with it. We'll just give a little quick update before we start a podcast. Whenever you complete it, no rush. Yeah. You better <laughs> finish it this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lock yourself in a closet, play nothing but Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, it's, story-wise, it's a great game. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's, the characters are endearing. You want to find out more. The beauty of the game is, especially back in the day, is you finish the story and you only know so much about certain characters. Mm-hmm. And that's why there's been so much more other Pre- games prequels, like prequels, sequels, Crisis Core, movies, movies yeah. just things to let you know more about these characters because they can only cover so much in there. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's a little mysterious. So, oh, okay. but yeah, But yeah, it's for $15 if you've never bought it before. It's great for someone like Ricardo or myself. I have bought the game. Yeah. Kind of multiple times, times. yeah times. i bought yeah. multiple versions of it on the playstation because of cracked lost broken discs i've bought it on pc i bought it on vita vita and ps3 are just one purchase yeah. um yeah i think i can't i'm just trying to think of a system minus the switch one that i haven't it's, purchased it it's on it's been released on on ios i did not buy it on ios i do not trust final fantasy games on mobile actually just Console games being ported to mobile, I don't trust because controls. I don't mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah, touch yeah. screen controls for those. Unless a game is optimized for the mobile experience, right. it's, I'm going to hate it. Yeah. Because okay. I'm going to be focusing on the screen, my fingers are going to drift, and I'm not going to be running when I need to. But that's a different But story. yeah, that's not yeah. something that Eddie needs to yeah. worry about. No, not at all. Uh, I'm so happy that you yes. actually did come to a conclusion. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we did help. Uh, we didn't hype it up too much for you. Because uh, you can come back and say, "Oh, this is terrible," and I wasted <laughs> money on it. You know? uh, or maybe even that then, could happen. It's true. That, that, it's that true. could it's happen. Exactly. I could just have it's... a negative experience with it. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. That would yeah. be good to know too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Retro Lunch Break, the podcast. And my closing quote for today is uh, the famous words made uh, made super famous by Bonnie the Bonnie Taylor. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.